Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lin Fung from Edgeling. In today's video, I'm going to talk about using questionnaires as a research instrument. As you have learned, research is systematic investigation into an issue or a phenomenon, which involves data collection, analysis, and interpretation. So how do we collect data? We use instruments to do that. So imagine you have to measure the dimensions of a room. You need a tape measurement to do that. If you want to measure weight, you need a scale to weigh your items. Similarly, a questionnaire is an instrument that you can use to collect data to answer your research question. So let me give you an example of a questionnaire. This one is called the Foreign Language Enjoyment and Anxiety Questionnaire. It was adapted from the one that was developed by Diwali and Muck Entire 2016. As you can see in this questionnaire, there's a short description or a short introduction. And then there are questions for the participants to provide background information. And when you count the number of questions here, you can see that there are eight questions to collect background information from the participants. So here is the main part of the questionnaire with 20 questions. And you can also use the word items to refer to these 20 questions. You see a short instruction to instruct the participants to complete the questionnaire. Basically, they have to choose one out of five options that are given. So these options go from strongly disagree to strongly agree. And that's why this type of questionnaire is called a Likert scale because you have a scale from one to five here. Uh, and there are five points, so that's why it is also called a five-point Likert scale or a five-point Likert scale questionnaire with 20 items. So when you want to describe the instrument that you used in your research, you can say I used a five-point Likert scale questionnaire with 20 items to measure participants' enjoyment and anxiety in their foreign language classroom. 